YouTube. What's good, family? So y'all seen in the last video, we got some parts in. Um, y'all gotta look over the shop. We got house projects going on, so uh, I don't have much of a shop to set up my tripod, uh, as you can see. So you guys can actually see me work on it. I was gonna time lapse it, but I don't have nowhere to set a tripod right now, so I'm sorry I can't time lapse it. But um, um, I'm about to switch out these spark plug wires, and I'm about to see what I have to do to make that radiator fit, and see if I can get it set down in there and mocked up and figured out. Um, I couldn't get the exact radiator for this truck because factory this truck is a 318 and not a, a big block mm, excuse me and apparently excuse me on the old chrysler's the the inlet and outlet on the water pump and the radiators are different between the big blocks and the small blocks so i had to get this radiator so that the inlet and the outlet is on the right side because as you can see it's supposed to be on the bottom for this side and it's on the bottom on this side and then the other one's on the top so yeah you get the gist so this ain't ain't gonna just bolt right in it should fit fine but it's not gonna just bolt up i'm gonna have to figure out what I need to do or finagle it, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, yeah, let me get these wires changed and uh, let me get that out the box and get it finagled in there. And uh, I'm going to check back with you, with y'all and let y'all see what I got done or explain to y'all what I have to do, depending on what it is. Let's get it. You too. What's good, family? We is back in this motherfucker. Man, welcome to the fucking roller coaster, you guys. I've been going up and down and up and down about these new parts. Well, let me tell you. I started changing the spark plug wires. I don't know if this camera focus or not, but can you tell something weird going on there? Yeah, I got one blue fucking wire. Apparently, I got big block spark plug wires that won't fucking reach all the way to the back fucking spark plug across the motor even though they're supposed to be for a big block so yeah I changed all the spark plug wires except for one because wouldn't none of the spark plug wires in the pack reach back there so for now I changed them all except for that one I'm gonna get another set anyway because I was going to get a racing set because these are just some replacement regular 7 mil set so uh, I'm not going to stress about that right now I'm just trying to get everything brand new to get everything running properly and then I'll upgrade as possible you know what I mean because the set of spark plug wires that I want costs like 150 bucks and I don't have 150 bucks to blow on a set of spark. Part, oh my god, I can't even talk on a set of spark plug wires right now. This regular set of spark plugs was like, I think, 40 bucks. So that's why I got those for now. But anyway, I'm rambling. My bad. So we got over that fiasco. I changed seven out of eight. Sorry, it is what it is. But look at this radiator, you guys. This bitch fit. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at this shit. Literally, look at this. All I gotta do, that's threaded right there. So literally all I gotta do is find some bolts to put in that hole. Bolt it up. Find a bolt, put in that hole on that side. And bolt it up. <laughs> and run the fucking hoses. So, I'm calling that a win. I gotta go get some hoses, but uh, yeah. Run a radiator hose from there to the top right there. That worked out. And uh, the bottom is on the right side like it's supposed to be. And the transmission lines right there. 
go in down there and it came with the fittings right here for the transmission line so literally all i gotta do is pop that onto there and screw it into there and that's a wrap same thing goes for that side see the line yeah it's down there see can y'all see that you guys i don't know if it's focused there it is but yeah so <laughs> i'm counting that as a win the radiator is a go <laughs> Yes, 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 my friends. Yes. Anyway, I'm excited, you guys, because that is definitely a win. I thought I was going to have to finagle, fabricate, you know what I'm saying, and all that just to get this thing to fit. And, uh, like, I literally just slid it down in there. <laughs> Look, minimum scratches and everything because it literally went in there that easy. I literally just slid that thing in there. And then these bolt holes automatically lining up. It's actually setting on the support down there. So like it's solid where it's at. So definitely all you gotta do is put those two bolts in it and like it's gonna be in. So stay tuned in, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully the next video I'll have all the hoses and stuff I need and get all that stuff hooked up. Um, I think I'm going to try to get some hoses today. Honestly, I don't know. I got to work on the house a little bit. So matter of fact, I'm going to work on the house today a little bit and, uh, I'll try to get some hoses in the morning and try to get this done on the next video for this weekend or something. I don't know. We'll, you already know we at it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to get it done as soon as possible. Like I said, I got a lot of things going on with the house. So, uh, yeah. Pray for your boy. Pray for your boy. Because he getting work in. But anyway, like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned in. And uh, Big Block 400 is on the motherfucking way. I like that damn new racing radiator, man. That thing look good. Three row, all aluminum. Looking nice. Looking nice. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get it. Also, family... If anybody noticed in the video, I didn't say anything else about the fuel cell. Um, the original bed on that truck is wood and it has to be rebuilt. Uh, so I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to wait to rebuild the bed first and then put the fuel cell in there. Or try to fix something to hold it. So that's why I didn't speak on the fuel cell yet. Um, I may end up trying to, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I may just end up trying to cut a hole in the bed and just set it down in there for now. So I can rerun the uh, new lines and get the fittings and everything made. Uh, I don't know. I may talk to the mechanic. Or the shop that I'm going to and see if he wants to install it. Like, it don't matter to me. However it's got to go, you already know we're going to get it done. But other than that, as you see, all the parts are off the table. And as you see earlier in the video, where the parts went. So, like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned in. We're moving along. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to try to get the rest of those parts here in the next couple days, the radiator hoses and an oil change. Radiator hoses and an oil change. Uh, I think that's it. Spark plugs, spark plug wires. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Some uh, antifreeze, <laughs> I guess, to put in the radiator. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So. Hopefully we'll have that thing dropped off and get him to work the little bugs out. And hopefully we'll have that thing on the track real soon. So like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned in. I hope y'all like this project. I hope y'all like the pace or the speed that I'm trying to move it along. Um, like I said, I also got a house project going on. So I got to finagle with my time back and forth. So bear with me. And... um I got another project, a long-weighted project that I think I have found, 
a stash of parts for so i may be able to work on the integra soon so stay tuned in we might be working on the integra let's get it <laughs>